Number one, cop picks a lock to arrest someone without a warrant. On August 13th, 2018, a grand jury indicted Alano police officer Mark Burke and Alano County Deputy Duncan Roberts, each facing three counts of official oppression. These charges stem from an incident where they attempted to pick a lock at a residence, eventually breaking in and arresting a man inside. These recent August indictments are part of a pattern of criminal charges that have led to the resignation, suspension, and termination of five Llano Police City officers, including the police chief. Duncan Roberts is the most recent deputy from the Llano County Sheriff's Office to face charges related to abuses of power. The first indictment in connection with these cases was issued in December 2017. Presently, five officers are awaiting trial on multiple counts of abuse of power charges. On June 9th, Roberts and Burke responded to a 911 call involving domestic violence at a residence just outside the town near State Highway 29. Burke was serving as backup for the deputy. He recorded the incident on his body camera, which was activated upon arrival. In the video, Burke can be seen conversing with a woman in the driveway who reported an argument with her partner, Clay Holly. She mentioned that Holly attempted to prevent her and their children from leaving the home. However, she clarified that Holly had physically harmed her and had retreated into the house, locking the door. The video captures Burke and Roberts using flashlights to inspect the residence, while Burke entered the garage and Roberts knocked on Holly's front door multiple times. Let's take a look at the video. Holly didn't respond when the officers knocked on the door. Burke mentioned a deadbolt preventing their entry. He then retrieved a locked pick kit from his police vehicle and attempted to break into Holly's front door for almost two minutes. While Burke was trying to pick the lock, Holly emerged from a bedroom and approached the front door. Answer the door. Right, We've been knocking on the door. Open the damn door. Right, Holly raised his voice, warning the officers not to attempt breaking into his house. Despite his protests, the officers repeatedly ordered Holly to open the door, emphasizing that they needed to investigate a domestic incident. Open the door. We're coming through it. No. Yes, we do. Actually, yes. A domestic occurred here. We're going to conduct an investigation. You can open the door or we can kick it in. We can kick it in. Open it or we'll kick it in. Because we're conducting an investigation. Do you do you not understand? In a minute I'm gonna kick the door open. Open the then door. Then open the door and talk to us like a reasonable person. Open the door. Then I'll kick it. Ali continued to refuse asserting his right to keep his door closed. 
but as it seemed, the officer had little regard for Holly's rights. Burke pulled out his taser, and Roberts issued final warnings before kicking the door three times, indicating his intention to forcefully enter. Then open the door! We didn't do anything to your door. We're trying to open the dang door. Because you and your, your wife over here got in a fight. Open the door. I don't care whatever, whichever it is. Open the door. I'm going to give you to the count of three. If I kick that door and you're going in jail for hindering an investigation, you understand that? One. A domestic. Two. All right, dude. You asked for it. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. way. Move out of the way. Roberts eventually kicked the door open on his fourth attempt, entering the house to arrest Holly. Move. Away. Move. Oh, Move out of the way. Move. Move out of the way. Move. Open the door. I'll give you one more chance to open that door. I just told you, open the door. I'm not playing with you, man. Get on the ground! Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Get on the ground! Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on the ground. Yes, sir. Uh, what did we tell you? Over and over. You're right. You're right. I'm, I'm not trying to fight you, guys. What are you investigating? A domestic. Uh, you're going to jail. Holly expressed his dismay as the officers entered and hurriedly arrested him. After arresting Holly, the officers held him in the back of a patrol car for nearly an hour. Later, they removed his handcuffs and released him. The fact that Holly was never charged with a crime screams that Burke's way of handling things was wrong. If you think this cop went to great lengths to break the law, check this police officer challenging a 17-year-old teenager to a fight. Number two, officer challenges a teen to a fight. A police officer in Social Circle, Georgia, has been fired due to a dash cam video showing him encouraging a teenager to fight him during a traffic stop. The officer in question, James Sanders, had previously faced disciplinary action in 2014 for reportedly making threats to blow up a high school. Following the emergence of the video from a traffic stop on November 23rd, Sanders, who had served for eight years on the force, was dismissed from the Social Circle Police Department on Thursday. The incident reportedly unfolded after someone in the teenager's vehicle shouted profanities against the police. According to an incident report obtained by the Huffington Post, Sanders used strong language in his response to the derogatory remark. Social Circle Police Chief Tyrone Oliver confirmed that Sanders began following the teenager's vehicle after hearing the offensive comment while involved in another traffic stop. Sanders claimed he pulled the teenagers over for lane maintenance issues. However, video evidence from his vehicle contradicted his statement. It showed that the teen's car only touched the white line after Sanders sped up behind him. Following this incident, Sanders threatened the teenagers with arrest and a search for marijuana. The officer can be heard saying, if you want to mess with the police, I'm right here. I'm giving you every opportunity to confront me. He also mentioned showing them how aggressive police could be, as mentioned in the incident report. An anonymous caller reported Sanders' behavior to the police chief, which led to Sanders' termination. Social Circle Police Chief Tyrone Oliver emphasized the importance of officers having resilience and not engaging in such behavior. Sanders, who was appealing his termination, claimed he was unfairly punished. A petition for his reinstatement has gained support, suggesting his actions were misinterpreted. Brittany White, who initiated the petition, stated that while Sanders' comments were inappropriate, they were taken out of context and reported weeks after the incident. She questioned whether the police chief was treating all cases consistently and fairly. Let's take a look at the body cam footage. How's it going? Washington Insurance. That's why I got pulled over? Yeah, I'll be glad to tell you in just one second. Is everybody all right? Yes, sir. What's going on? Who yelled out the window? I don't know. None of us. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, come on back here with me, Mr. Burke.
The officer did the routine check and asked the driver to step outside so he can ask him who was the one who yelled the F word. Yes, sir. Mr. Bird. Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you one time. Yes, How long you had your license? Over six months. Over six months. So everybody, you're good to haul everybody around in there, yes, okay? Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you one time. Yes, sir. All right? And if you don't, we're going to go another route with it. Who yelled out of your Jeep when you went by us? It was Brandon. Who? Brandon. Which one's Brandon? In the front seat. Got the Jeep. What'd you have to say? Nothing. No, tell me one more time you're going to jail, son. What's After the driver confessed who it was, the police officer called the boy outside and confronted him. What's your name? Brandon Hughes. Brandon Hughes. I know who you are. Is there something you need to say to us that you want to yell out the window? Who are you yelling at? Look at me when you talk to me, son. Who are you going to yell at? What'd you say? Or so. the police. This was rather unprofessional and illegal from the police officer toward the young boy, who was expressing his freedom of speech. But it seems that the officer didn't take that very well. The officer continued his relentless aggressive behavior towards the young teenager. It seems there was some history between the two, and the officer searched the vehicle for drugs. But fortunately for the kids, he didn't find anything. This continued for a while, but ultimately, he let them go. If you enjoy watching our videos, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content.